Hello. Most of you who have E90, E92, 335, 328s, whatever it is, may have gotten a letter in the mail from BMW about their blower motor wiring. So I got this in the mail, kind of ignored it because I didn't really care, blah, blah, blah. Then recently on Facebook pages, I've been seeing people posting pictures of their cars burning to the ground. Uh, people s taking pictures of their wires, having it all brown, probably about to catch on fire. So this kind of made me nervous. And also, I saw people saying that they were calling BMW and getting rentals because they didn't feel safe driving their car. So I figured I would give that a try. The car's been sitting in the garage anyway. If I can get a rental, that'd be sweet. So I'm gonna do that today. Okay, so I'm calling BMW right now. Let's see what they say. To provide the very best service, this call may be recorded. Thank you for calling BMW of Warwick. This call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. For service, press one. For sales, press two. For parts, press three. For the body size. In queue, there are two crawlers ahead of you. Hi, I'm calling about a uh, safety recall that I got on my car. Sure, um, do you know what the recall is? Does it say it on the paper? Yes, it's for the blower motor wiring. Okay, so unfortunately for that, and um, there's another recall PCV valve. Um, we aren't booking appointments for because we don't have the parts yet from the manufacturer. We can't book an appointment. Okay, so... Um, what do I do if I like don't feel safe driving my car? Um, well, I can email it down to a manager. They can see if they can set you up with a loaner or something. In the meantime, while you're waiting for the part, do you smell like a burning smell or something? I have before in the past. Okay. okay. All right. Um, can I have you, have you brought your vehicle here before? Yes, I have. Okay. Would it be underneath this phone number or not this phone? Yes, probably. Oh, Zach Tucker? Yep. Is this for the 98 or the 2010 BMW? 2010. Do you own the 98 anymore? Or? Yes, I do. Yes, it is. All right, perfect. Somebody will get it back to you, okay? All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Okay. So they're going to call me back, the manager, and we'll see what he says. They know I have two cars, so we'll see about that. So while we're waiting for them to call back, we might as well take a look at the wiring and see if it is gonna go bad soon. If it is, I'll have to unplug it and wait for the fix to be in. So first thing we're gonna do is unplug the battery, negative terminal, so that we can take a gander at the wires. Well, it's quite a mess in my trunk right now, so don't mind that. We'll take our 10 millimeter wrench Loosen this up. And pull it off. Cool. Now we won't catch on fire. And make sure you don't close your trunk, because I've done that and that's annoying. Put this like in the way so it doesn't close. Now what I've done here is I've taken a T20 Torx, took out two screws on either side and this panel just drops down you can unplug this cigarette lighter which I had no idea was here and the light get that out of the way if we look up underneath we should see the blower motor wiring 
which is right here. So what I'm going to actually do is unplug that and inspect the plug, see if it had any melting. So I just unplugged the plug. It looks pretty good, no melting, but it's hard to see, but that red wire, well, doesn't look bad at all actually. Probably pretty safe. Still pretty nervous about this. Well, I'm just gonna leave that unplugged for now. So I don't want my car to burn to the ground, so I'm just gonna leave that unplugged for now since I'm not driving it. Hopefully BMW will call me back and we can see if I can get a loaner, because that would be sweet. Drive around a loaner for a while. In case you guys were wondering what was going on with the 335, uh, it's sitting for the winter obviously because we just got like three feet of snow in New England, so that was fun. But I do have some things planned, some parts coming in. I've got uh, E90 M3 rear diff, axles, drive shaft, everything. So we're going to be doing that conversion. And also we have a Vargas double shotgun fuel pump kit thing pretty sweet this is uh this is gonna make me run two high pressure fuel pumps and upgraded fuel rail blah 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 all that shit it's gonna be sweet should be able to push some serious power with that but I went with that instead of port injection because of I don't even know I wanted to try it out um, it's safer apparently than port injection for now because port injection has problems where like if you misfire and your ECU shuts down a cylinder, the direct injection, I mean the port injection is gonna keep on spraying and it's gonna cause lean conditions in your engine. That's what fucking blows them up. So I didn't want to deal with that. And we'll do a DIY on how to install it. All right, so it's the next day. BMW ended up calling me like six hours after I made that video. Um, they said that I am eligible for an enterprise rent a car, but what I have to do is bring my car there. They'll inspect it. They'll figure out if it's okay, and if it's not, they will hold it there until they have the parts in to fix it. So I inspected it. It didn't look bad, so I'm not even going to bother doing that because I would have a rental for like a day and whatever. It doesn't matter. And on top of that, I don't really feel comfortable leaving my single turbo 335 at a BMW dealership for an extended period of time because you never know. So hopefully this video can help some other people who have this problem. Maybe their problem is worse than mine. Uh, I showed you how to look for it and what to look for. If you have this problem, just know you can call BMW, you can get a rental, get your rental, leave your car there, unplug the plug if it looks really bad and you know, prevent your car from burning to the ground, which is, which would be good. One other thing, my other high pressure fuel pump came in, looking nice, and my drive shaft for the M3 came in, which is also nice. So hopefully if the weather can turn around, we can get ready to install the fuel pump, get that DIY done, make some power, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little different than what we're used to because it's just me sitting here talking to you in my boring ass voice in a monotone style. Monotone. Style. But, make sure you hit the link in the description. Get your stickers. Get your stickers. We just stocked up. Got plenty of stickers for all of all of you who want them. Stacks on stacks of stickers. Just remember that uh, all the money we make off the stickers will be going directly towards the channel, so we can provide you guys with new content, builds, all that fun stuff. Because you know, once we get a little bit more budget, we'll be. Uh, making some more beamers you know what I'm saying <laughs> so yeah make sure you hit that just link hit that link in the description like comment subscribe 
and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. And when I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW. And when I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW.